Welcome to my knowledge. In today's video, we will discuss how to create orthographic views from a 3D model. So let's begin. Forty. Three fifteen. Three forty. Thirty. Thirty. Five. Forty millimeters. Fifteen. Forty. And I'll move uh, another 30 and 30 again and press escape. Move 15 and then join it. After that, I will use fillet command. Enter radius. 30 and select the two sides we'll do the same for the other uh, fillet so that's it now we'll use push pull command and extrude it up to 40 To see it, I'll change it to shade of gray. By holding shift and uh, middle mouse button, you can rotate it. Now I'll uh, move the coordinate system using UCS command. I'll select this as an origin. X axis will be in this direction. And Y axis will be in this direction. So now I can draw on this face as well. The XY plane always shows the top view. Thirty now I move ten mm, let's uh, do it again uh I'll move thirty then. 10 ready again we'll join it to make it a closed surface now by using uh, actually I have to add 10 more to it as the depth of the slot is 40 not 30 let's trim the additional line using push pull command press pull command I can uh, subtract now select the corner that you want to fill it the fillet is 5 similarly we'll do for the other corner as well great Now 
now by uh, rotating the object we can see that the x that the lines that i used for push pull are still there so to remove these lines or to get rid of these just move the object away from this point select the object using move command move it to some other place the lines will still be there now select these lines and delete them by pressing delete so this is how you can get rid of the uh, lines that are used in push pull commands now if i move it uh, we don't have any of those lines now i will move the coordinate system again using ucs command to that 5 mm step i will take this as a origin this will be x axis and y axis so now i i can draw it in this plane top view again x y will always show you top view now let's draw the last feature let's uh, fifteen then twelve point five then twenty five twelve point five fifteen then join these two points now again using press pull I can extrude it through till the end Now we will uh, fillet the edges, the radius is 25, select the edge, 12.5, uh, enter, we will do the same for the other corner. draw the circle we'll press pull it till the end and subtract so that's how we can model the object we can again move it but before moving I think we should uh, make it a single solid by union select both the uh, uh, objects and press union now if I move it you can see the lines that were used for press pull I'll raise it the object is now ready
now to see it weaves its weaves i'll move to layout we'll delete current layout by selecting it now below the base by clicking that arrow you can select first angle or third angle and ho also how to represent the threads I'll just press OK and press on base and select the model from AutoCAD that we just made Now to change the weave that you want, you can select it from here. I want to see its uh, front like this. So I'll select it and click over here. After clicking it, by dragging it down, it will give me the top view and side view and isometric view like this if I drag it diagonally. by pressing enter I'll get all the views if you want to move it you can uh, move the view as well after placement by by double clicking on the view you can change its uh, view from hidden to visible line or to solid shades Now to dimension the wheels. I will go to layers and make a new layer named dimension. I will just press on new layer and type dimension in it. We will change it, its color to green ok now from annotation or annotate I can select the center line and place it on the circle can also place it on the arc now to use another type of center line I have to click on this and then select these two lines it will automatically place a center line between it I'll use align dimensioning for the rest of the diagram. So that's it for today's video. We learn how to make something in 3D, an object in 3D, then convert the 3D model into orthographic views. You can also convert it into third angle of uh, projection. 
So that's all. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe my channel.